Hello everyone, it's Ben at TV Parts today. In front of me on the table we have a Sony unit, model XBR-75X900F. We are going to be doing a short tutorial video on how to get the back off of this unit as well as how to remove the boards. Uh, we are going to need just a few tools. Uh, we are going to be using a screw gun, but a screwdriver will work just fine. And we are going to use a spudger just in case things get nasty. Uh, and let's jump right into it. So we have the back of the TV laid out here. There are quite a few screws that we need to get out. Uh, we wanted to note specifically, uh, there are gonna be two screws here, two screws here, as well as two screws right here that we're gonna wanna make sure that we pay real close attention to, as well as the screws here on the uh, back of the television, just on the back plate. Uh, there is one here where the power cord plugs in that we're gonna get a little tighter shot here just to show you exactly what's going on there. Uh, but let's start out by getting all of these screws from around the sides as well as along the bottom here out of the television and then we'll get those tighter shots going. I do believe that is going to be it for the major screws here. What we're going to do is get a real close tight in uh, shot of this guy right here. Uh, and then we should just be able to pull the back plate right off of this thing. So for the little door here, right where the power cord is, there's going to be one screw that we're going to get out. That should give us access to the door itself. It just comes right up here. You will notice there's a little bit of resistance because there is a piece down inside that we're gonna have to hit with our thumbnail, but this clip just slides right out. So this is the little piece that I was talking about here. You just wanna depress that with your thumb and then it should just slide right out of the power supply board. So it does look like the unit that we've got here is missing a couple of screws, namely down here to uh, at the bottom, as well as two right here up at the top. Uh, we are gonna wanna make sure that we're getting those out. So just do a brief sweep before you try to actually pry this back plate up and away. Uh, we've got our spudger just in case there are any clips that are giving us problems, but let's just go ahead and start lifting this up. And you will notice here, there's a lot of resistance, mainly down along the sides and up the sides here. Those are probably gonna be those clips that I was talking about earlier. So we just wanna be real gentle. You can hear them pop. Slide our hand out a little bit more. Should probably get two or three more big pops. Whole sides up on that side. Whole sides up on that side. Now, this back plate is just gonna lift up and away, but it is set in to the chassis going up towards the top of the television. So we wanna pull it back towards us. And it just slides right out and gives us access to the boards in the back of the TV. For the main board, the first step that we're gonna to wanna to take here is to get these pieces of flashing off the side. And if I remember correctly, we should just be able to very gently pull those away. You might have to give them a little jiggle, a little finagling. So that's gonna allow us to get to these screws. Uh, but first, we're going to get all of these plugs out and away from the main board. Uh, this little micro USB, should just slide right out of there. Uh, we are going to do this cable next. We wanna push that down with our finger or a thumbnail. There's a little lever on the back. We can depress that and it comes out real easy. Uh, this guy is going to have a lever on the top that we're gonna to wanna to depress with our thumbnail or our thumb. Same kind of style, it just slides right out afterwards. This one's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna to wanna to depress the two little clips on the right and left side and it comes right out. This ribbon cable connection, we'll wanna pop that black flap up with our fingernail, and this should just come right out. Uh, these two here are gonna be a little bit more difficult. Uh, they are gonna require just a little bit of finesse. We wanna push down on the two buttons, and you'll see these two little black uh, rectangles here. We wanna push both of those little buttons down, and then we wanna slowly walk this LVDS cable out so we're not causing any damage when we're putting it back in there. Uh, same thing is gonna go for when you're putting it back in. You wanna depress those two, uh, the, the two little black pieces there and you wanna slide that right back into its slot. Uh, so you just push those buttons, come right out. Same style here, push down on both of those buttons and then it comes right out. Now we just have a couple of screws that we need to get out of here and the main board should come up and away from the chassis. So 
So now that we got all the screws out, we should just be able to lift this board up and away. Feels like there are a couple little adhesive points here, nothing to really worry about. And that is the main board. For the LED driver board, we do want to get all of these clips and these ribbon cables away from the board before we unscrew it. Uh, so let's start with this guy right here. We're going to depress this clip with our thumbnail, slowly walk it out. This one right here, we're going to pop the flap up with our fingernail. We're going to walk that ribbon cable out very gently. All of these connections right here are exactly the same. We just get our fingernail up underneath them, go down the line, pop them all up. After that, these should just come right out of there. If they are giving you any resistance, just take your time, be very gentle with them. We don't want to cause any damage to those ribbon cable connections. I do have a uh, very fine tip number one screwdriver here on the end of my drill gun. Uh, that is gonna be necessary to get these real tiny screws out. Uh, so if you need to find a fine tip cross head screwdriver, I would recommend that. So after we get the screws out of there, we should just be able to lift up on this plate, which then exposes the LED driver board, and this should just come right up and out. And that is the LED driver board. For the T-Con board, we are gonna have to do quite a bit of digging to actually get to the board itself. Uh, there is this large metal plate here that covers the T-Con board, and then the Wi-Fi board here is also connected to the plate, and then connected to the plate as well is the IR sensor. So what we're gonna do first here is we're gonna kinda clear our workspace by getting all of these cables and connections that we can away. We're gonna do that first. This guy right here, we're gonna depress this clip with our thumbnail. It just pushes right down and slides right out. Uh, these two LVDS cables, we're gonna wanna push the two uh, buttons down on the right and left side, and this should just walk right out of there. Same style here, push those two buttons down, walks right out. Uh, this here on the Wi-Fi board is gonna be a similar style to this clip here. We're just gonna depress it with our thumbnail or our thumb with a finger, and we're going to slide that right out. Uh, this is the actual antenna connection for the Wi-Fi. It just pops right off of there. Do be gentle that we don't get that little metal piece to come with it. So let's start working on these screws. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is get the IR sensor so that we can get this plug out. So let's get these two screws out and we'll be able to show you what's going on there. This should just very gently come away from the television. And I'll flip it over so you can get a better look here at all the various little connections in here. These are all gonna be as real, real similar style. We're just gonna to wanna to push those clips down with our thumb and they come right out. Three of them. They come out, we can set the IR sensor off to the side. Now let's work on the Wi-Fi board here. We got two screws and this Wi-Fi board should just lift up and away. All right, so the Wi-Fi board comes up and out. Now we do have a handful of screws here and these are very fine tip. Uh, I would try to recommend using a number one screwdriver or a drill bit. Let's get those out of here. Time for the big T-Con reveal. We'll be able to lift this plate up. It should be adhered to it with thermal. Oh, well, doesn't really feel like it here. We should just be able to set this off to the side so that we can get the T-Con board out of here. We do have two ribbon cable connections. We're just gonna pop those up. The little black flaps pop up with your fingernail. We got four screws and this should come away. And that should do it 
for our T-Con board. We're gonna do the power supply and the sub power supply here just all in one go. Uh, the first step is to get all of these clips away from the various boards. This one we're gonna depress with our thumbnail, comes right out. Same style here, depress that clip with our thumb, comes out. Same thing here and here. We can get these set off to the side. The exact same style here, we're gonna push down with our thumbnail, slide these out. Same premise, a little bit different style. We just push these down with our thumbnail and they walk right away from the board. So now we just have a couple of screws here on the main power supply, a couple of screws here on the sub power supply and both of these should lift right up and away. After the screws come out, we should just be able to lift these up. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. Uh, don't forget to like the video, leave us a comment down below, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you have any more questions for us, I'm gonna have a link down below to a subreddit that you can go to with those questions, and we will see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook 